Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. So today I decided to do another piercing video. I'm going to be changing a piercing. I have done these videos before. I've done how to change a belly bar and I've done how to change a nose stud to a nose ring. Um, so I decided to do how to change a conch piercing, which is this one here. Right in, inside your ear. Um, I have had it pierced probably coming up to two years now. And I thought I'd do another video of how to change piercings as people like to see these videos. I will do more. Um, I'll probably do how to change a tragus piercing but I've not taken it out since I've had that pierced because I can't physically take it out. Um, it won't go past like the bit that's inside my ear so it's actually stuck. But I'm going to try and get it out and then I'll hopefully do a video on how to change a tragus piercing as well. So yeah, today's video is how to change a conch piercing. Like I said, is this bit inside your ear here. Um, and the healing process is between three and nine months. Um, and I think I did wait until the actual, like nine, coming up to nine months to change it. Because changing my piercings early, I've done it before and it didn't end well. They got infected. So I decided to wait and change it. I did get it pierced with a stud. Um, this isn't the stud that it's pierced with I changed the ball um, so yeah I'm going to start with the stud I'll take it out and I'll show you how to put it in there how to do the ball and then I will change it to a hoop which I've got here and show you how to change it to hoop ok so I'm going to take this out show you how to take it out and then put it back in and then I will change it to a hoop so to begin with you put one of your hands at the back one at the front um, and to you have to screw the ball off and it's lefty loosey righty tighty is how I remember it so you're going to twist it to the left take it out these are really hard because I've done up really really tight so twist off and I've got the ball here and basically you're just going to remove it so now you can see the hole in my ear here you can see the hole and basically to put it back in so once you know where it is it's easy to find it but you feel at the back for the hole and then push your way through and then get the ball and twist it on remember righty tighty so we've got to find the hole first got to twist it to the right to put it on it's even on this is the hardest bit is finding where to screw it on right I've got it so twist 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 this one is actually I'm twisting that way so it's actually I am twisting to the left which is weird because um it, the rule is righty tighty lefty loosey but and this no i suppose it's going to the right isn't it ignore me ignore me um so yeah i've now put the stud back in my ear's gone a bit red but um yeah that will go down so that is the stud in the ear and then again to remove it you're going to twist it again until it comes off and that's off and taking the bar out also and now I'm left with the hole in my ear right so the hoop that I've got is this hoop here and basically it just unhinges like that and opens like that so you can put it in and then when it's in then you close it like that again until it clicks um, so yeah, open it like that and you put this bit in the front ways so you just find the hole again it's hard doing this in the camera right, so that's through so I'm going to push it and then this bit needs to go around make sure your ear is around it and then once you've joined the back bit and the front bit together you then push it until it clicks and then it's in and that's how you change the hoop pretty easy really 
but it's easier to change um to put a hoop in than to put a bar in i find but it depends what kind of style you like i do like wearing the hoops in my ear as i think they just look better so yeah that is what the hoop looks like and then again to take it out you're going to put one hand at the back one at the front from where they open and you're going to push it until it clicks and then you're going to have to push your ear back through like that so it's now no longer hooking over and then you're just going to pull it out so it's out like that so pretty easy um to change them again put that into the hole This is so hard to do it in. So much easier to do it in a mirror than a camera screen. Right, so that's in. So I'm going to push that until it's in. Then I'm going to push my ear into the hoop and then click together and it's on. So yeah. Okay, so if you can see the, um, if it focuses. The hoop that I've got in my ear, and then this is the stud. Ooh. If it focuses, nope, it's not focusing. So, this is the stud that I've got. Um, I will put the hoop and the studs where I got them from in the description box below if you want to go and um buy these ones um i do i think i do buy most of my stuff from Claire's accessories but i didn't buy the hoop from Claire's accessories i got that from a website no i got it from a um like a business on etsy so i will link that below and they do it in different sizes um i can't remember what size this is uh let me just have a look and see um So, doo -doo -doo -doo. when did I order it? I feel like I've had it for a while. Right, so. Um, right, so this is the... Um, Place that I got it from on Etsy is what it looks like, and this is the shop. Like I said, I'll put it in the description box below anyway. Um, and the size of it was so that's 10 millimeter. I'm not even focus that is the 10 millimeter um hoop that i got i did accidentally click the wrong size when i ordered it so i did ask her if i was able to change the size and she kindly changed it for me so um yeah i got the 10 um one that's the 10 millimeter size hoop and it fits perfectly in my ear and these ones i will also link in the description box below as well where you can buy these but they're pretty easy to get a hold of so yeah that was my video of changing my conch piercing i hope it was useful and helpful um because when i first started to change this piercing i got so frustrated and i couldn't do it um so i know how helpful these videos can be but i hope you guys found it helpful and yeah i will do more videos on how to change other piercings once i find out how to get this tragus piece lamp here then i will but i hope you like this one anyway if you did give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys soon for more videos bye